Hey everybody, it's Gail, and today I am here to show off this tote bag. Nice big tote bag, uh, good for... Well, so far I've taken it to the comic book store and the bodega, and it hasn't fallen apart. So yay to my sewing, which is always a little earthy. Uh, so this great tote bag comes from this book here, Learn to Crochet, Love to Crochet by Anna Wilkinson. Now, unfortunately, this book is out of print. Uh, although it was only put out in like 2015, but it is available uh, at libraries. You can find it secondhand very easily. I got mine off uh, thrift books, as a matter of fact, and it is it is just a bunch of patterns that I think are really cool. Uh, I'm slowly making everything in this book. Uh, I've made the t-shirt. I've made the beret. I've made the fan stitch cardigan. And I've made the hand warmers. Uh, and now the tote, of course. So what's interesting is if you look this book up on Ravelry and to get a sense of what's in there, it's missing some of the patterns, including this tote bag. Uh, but it is available on archive.org, which is the Internet Archive. Uh, it's, it's not the cleanest scan I've ever seen, but it will let you see everything that's in it to find out, you know, if maybe you want to have it. And if you do want to have it, they link to their own used bookstore where you can buy it there, which I love. So I'll link to the Internet Archive down in the basement. Let's talk now about the bag. The bag. So this bag is made in a front and back solid piece, a bottom panel, these two open work side panels, which are clearly, you know, the detail hit, and then um, just two double crochet carrying straps and there are instructions in the pattern of how to line it um i didn't follow those precisely but we'll get there so first of all what the pattern calls for in the book is aaron weight which is heavy worsted weight uh an h hook and uh particularly carpet yarn so carpet yarn is a firmer yarn it's i mean it's literally carpet fibers wound into yarn and I note that because this is made of Karen one pound. It took about half a skein. And uh, one of the notes in the pattern is that you don't have to line the straps. And the thing is, with carpet yarn, that's probably true. It's going to be a hardier yarn. It's going to hold better. If you're using anything else, if you use anything besides carpet yarn, you're going to want to line these straps because otherwise, this shit's going to stretch. Um, and that means that you're going to go from having a tote bag that hits right where you want it, which in my case is like right under my arm, uh, to having a bag that's going to fall lower, the straps aren't going to feel as reliable, and so that's something to watch out for. Speaking of the lining, let's take a look at my amateur sewing work. So this is a piece of fleece that I had from, you know, the remnant pile at Joanne, and what I did was I cut a piece to sew the front, back, and the bottom together. And then I had individual pieces for the sides. And then of course, individual for the straps. And then I sewed them all individually onto their pieces and then did single crochet join on the sides and around the edges to match them all together. Like I said, it's a little bit different in the book. They have you make sort of a big tube with all the fabric and then drop it down. But I was having my uh, can't quite picture it problem. So I just winged it with what I knew worked for me. Um, I really like fleece as a lining fabric because it's just it's sturdy, but it's also easy to sew through. Uh, I will say um, I'm not getting a great pop of the pattern through the side panels. Because uh, the pattern itself is a little too big for that. So if you're really wanting to do a lot, uh, have some fun, words. Uh, if you're wanting to have some fun and have like a really bright pattern inside your bag to show through the side panels, uh, I would recommend a smaller pattern repeat on your fabric. Um, this was all hand sewn and I sewed the edges on the outside rather than folding them inside because I just could not be bothered. Oh, I, um, I apparently sewed a sewing pin into the fabric. I just stuck myself on it a little. And I can't, yeah, can't get it out. 
because that's the corner it's in and that's sewn completely shut. I can I even see I, I can't even see it. Okay, well uh self-defense mechanism, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize. Um so yeah, a couple of things when working this bag is you want to be careful when you're stitching it all together because the way the bag is designed, these side panels uh, are a little rounded and that is so you get this nice deep rounded bottom here and that means that you really have to come all the way down when you're sewing it together to get all of the pieces together in fact I think there's a spot yeah so the lining is covering it but you can see here where I missed stitching those last stitches together just because uh the the depth of the sides against the bottom and against the front and the back uh, is is different. That made total sense, right? Oh, I have a loose thread. I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's really the bones of it there. It's, it's a nice tote. It's got some good weight to it. Um, I look forward to using it more. It's... Uh, a good line tote is very useful in the winter around here when it rains all the time. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, the book again is Learn to Crochet, Love to Crochet. And again, I will have it linked in the basement with the uh, Internet Archive link. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, there is a minor error in the written pattern in the book. Uh, so it was originally published, I believe, in Australia and then uh, edited for American terms. And every time in the side panel description, it says to work double crochets between these clusters. That is incorrect. These are single crochets. These are single crochet rows between the clusters. Um, but single crochet in Australia in American terms is double crochet in Australian terms, which is why there is that error. This does, however, mean that I now have a, uh, I have a pattern to begin a modern crochet pattern errata page on my, uh, on my website, and that's up now, so you can go and, you know, have that in front of you if you're working on this. And I think that's it, it, this time, like, super sure. Um, <laughs> as always, if you enjoy what I do here, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, all that fun stuff. Um, I update about every 10 days. So I will see you in 10 days.